As a young person, my parents were not too happy to hear that I want to okay. pursue art, and I think that is a usual situation. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, Dorothea. Um, pleased to meet you too. Uh, congratulations on being the chosen as the uh, best in show for Antaglio, Antaglio prints. Uh, Thank there you. Are over 300 prints on the show, so uh, I'm sure the the jury had a tough time making a decision. But uh, congratulations on on your on your prize. Um, could you tell Thank us a little you. bit about yourself, sort of what your background is, and uh, just. Uh, just give us a little bit of information about yourself. Well, it's not much to tell. Uh, as long as I can remember, I express myself visually. Uh, and that's kind of part of me. So I never question why I'm doing it. I just felt so natural uh, and um, to busy myself with art and craft. And um, later, though, I understood that uh, I express myself in a thoughts feelings uh, the best way with, with uh, visual art. Uh, so obviously you've had training in visual arts? Um, yes, I did some, though um, uh, when I started out um, as a young person, my parents were not too happy to hear that I wanted okay. to pursue art, and I think that is a usual situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I um, uh, when I married and I had my children, um, actually this is when uh, my husband really supported me in this endeavor. Okay. Uh, so I did have some training, which I really recommend to everybody. I went to um, Sheridan College, Fine Art and Illustration, um, and that gave me a fundamental knowledge of uh, 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 visual art, which you can actually implement in any technique, whatever media you choose, I think it's a really important base where you can then fire out. Education-wise, uh, lots of books and um, um, internet is a good source. Uh, unfortunately, I travel a lot, so for me, some f other formal uh, means were kind of uh, difficult to, yeah. to pursue, but I think it's a very good idea. Uh, what attracted you to printmaking in particular? Particular, I always wanted to do a, a, a printmaking, but I'm asthmatic, so that was out of the question because all that chemicals and everything else. But I was also attracted to photography, to design, and uh, I like hands-on things, and I think printing is made all those aspects that you are digging in, and, uh, it has a very interesting way of expressing uh, the line. Not long ago, maybe two years ago, um, I came across University of Saskatchewan's website. And actually for me, first time, it opened all the doors mm -hmm. to work actually with, um, with the chemicals that are not harmful. Not harmful for me, not harmful for, for, for the environment. And they were actually introducing also not just the material, but how do you work with it. So for me, that was like I jumped in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is how I started actually printing not long ago. Well, that's been a big uh, change, I think, for many printmakers is to move more to less toxic uh, materials. Um, how long has it taken you to, to be what you would say successful with your medium, like feel confident with it? You know, uh, because I had the fundamental of uh, art making and lots of experience in other medias like acrylic, and watercolor and ink work and for many years, it didn't take me so much, maybe a couple of months, but that's just scratching the surface. It was, yeah. it's, it's just like a whole world you can uh, explore and it's never ending. So to, to actually transfer, which is my head, uh, into a print. It took a couple of months though. Yeah. You have to learn your technique and how to work with those materials. And 
And the good part is that you can do this at home. Yeah. Almost in your bedroom, so to speak. So actually, that is a really good way to to start. You don't need a big uh, space. Mm -hmm. You don't need the. Uh... Yeah, if you're and if you're working with less toxic materials, then it's much easier to to work at home as well. So. Exactly. Uh, though I have to say, I have a small. Maybe you can even see behind me yeah. a small uh, uh, press so that allows me to actually do work at home as well do you work in a collective studio at all or just at home oh i wish i wish i think that's really rewarding and i think um i will in in the future but right now how my life is set up i just mm -hmm. i cannot commit myself to that uh, period or chunk of time but i i'm really looking forward to the point when i actually gonna do that uh, as I mentioned, you won the uh, prize for intaglio printmaking, and you talked a little bit about about what you liked about it. What what was it about intaglio that really attracted you uh, as a medium? Again, the immediacy, uh, the 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 quality, um, reversal, versatility uh, that you can you don't know exactly what's going to come out. You have this element of surprise, and I like those kind of feelings when you kind of let the media tell you mm -hmm. and lead you, and not to control everything. Sometimes yeah. the media controls you. I like that play, and also has a very interesting graphical uh, uh, print, uh, but also a little bit of a um, romantic, little bit of a brush stroke element into it, which is kind of a uh, 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 going against the deliberate and really graphical part of other um, techniques in printing. Could you tell me about your print? What was the inspiration for your print? Uh, uh, what's the sort of passion behind your creative process, those kind of things? Um, for me, um, inspiration comes from different places. Like it's all collective of all sorts of uh, colors and textures and experiences and and it's all stored kind of in me and I'm sometimes not even aware so it comes from strange places this one this particular one was actually coming from a book it was an interesting read from Maria Popova's book figuring and she was writing about uh, mostly women scientists it's really hard in 18th century to be in uh, 19th century as well, uh, a scientist, leading scientist, but then to be a woman, it was a really difficult journey. Yeah. And for me, this uh, flower constellation came from that, a woman as a flower and a uh, constellation because she, um, it was a life of uh, Miss um, uh, Maria Mitchells and she was an astronomer. So this whole thing kind of, it just came out like, <laughs> After the read, I went to the printing table and it was just coming out. Yeah. Is that an issue that is a theme in your work or is it, was it just this particular idea caught your imagination this time? Particular. It's so random. I don't have a team. When I used to do watercolor, it was trees. I was exploring trees. Okay. But this time with printing, for me, it's more the material and the paper and it's more the media what is telling me what to do. So I'm starting always just from, from not uh, uh, really deciding where I'm going to go. I just go into intuition, I go into a flow and then in some point, then I take over from the flow and from my subconscious and then I kind of uh, do deliberate thinking and lots of thinking actually and um, yeah. So for me art is really a meditation and playing and being free. It's not about the result, it's about the journey. So this is why my approach to any media of art, particularly printing, it's usually not so deliberate. It just always starts from some happy place. Okay. Um, just a couple more questions. Uh, yeah. Because um, I'm sure you want to get back to printing, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what inspired you to participate in, in the, the uh, mini print show at Ottawa? 
Oh, yes. Um, in Ottawa, um, I have a small action print uh, because my, my studio is in my bedroom, actually, which I prefer because it's part of my life. It's mm -hmm. not kind of somewhere there and you open the door or not. Yeah. It's, it's there. It's always there. So it's a small size and my prints uh, landing up uh, smaller sizes. And so it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a perfect uh, uh, um, for mini exhibition challenge. <laughs> the size. Yeah. So Ottawa is one of my favorite cities. So I kind of felt like invitation. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, well, that's very good. Um, yeah, there are a lot of uh, mini miniature print uh, competitions around the world. So once you yeah. start getting into one of them, there's lots of opportunity. So. Um, what advice would you give to an artist who is thinking about trying printmaking who's may maybe never tried it? You know what? Um, go for it. Mm -hmm. Just go for it. It's possible to practice uh, uh, this printmaking safely for you, for your body, for environment. Um, it's very versatile, exciting. Don't take yourself seriously, take your work seriously. And then uh, uh, work out your uh, voice first, and then you reach out for others to learn the technique, really. And uh, then share what you learn, share with others, and share your work with others. It's nice to, to communicate to that level, that it's yeah. kind of communication when we are sharing each other's art, which coming back, why did I did this uh, enter the, the mini exhibition? Sharing, it's really all about sharing, it's communication. And also, I think for uh, somebody who starts, it's good to know, um, it's, it's a journey. It's not about getting somewhere. It's, it's a journey. Just just do it. Just travel. <laughs> well, those are very uh, good words to, to end on. Um, so thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. And it was a uh, very pleasure this uh, whole journey yeah, well, and talk with you. Uh, since we couldn't have an opening this year, we thought this would be the best way to sort of maybe meet the artists. And I think we'll do it again. So I think it's it's brilliant. Yeah. And we'll uh, also put a link to your website, so so people. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was really nice talking to you, and um, uh, I hope we're gonna see you in two years again. <laughs> yeah, well, every two years we do it, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would like to say one more thing. Sure. Um, I think it's really important for not just somebody who starts but for all of us who are doing our support and getting support from the family i think it's really propels you uh, uh, and I, I i was fortunate to have that my husband was really supportive uh, and uh, the most you can give to somebody who needs to do something on their own because this is a this is a art is this art form visual art you are on your own you need time and if your environment can give you your time for yourself that that that's all you need it's it's great and without that it's really hard yeah so i was uh, lucky uh, i was really lucky i always had that yeah support look at me, look at me, look at me.